Steve grew up in a large family, blissfully unaware of the significant age gap between him and his elder sister, Joni. Mary and Don Lichtig, his parents, had always conveyed that they simply desired another son, a narrative Steve never questioned. He placed unwavering trust in his parents, believing them to be the ultimate purveyors of truth. Yet beneath the facade of familial harmony, Mary and Don harbored a dark secret, one they were determined to shield Steve from at any cost. Despite their efforts, Steve couldn't shake a persistent feeling of disquiet that had haunted him since adolescence, dismissing it initially as typical teenage angst. However, as he matured, the unease persisted, leaving him grappling with an unsettling sense that something wasn't right. Unbeknownst to Steve, the community around him buzzed with whispers and rumors about his true parentage. His friends, siblings, classmates, teachers, and even his high school sweetheart were privy to the scandalous truth. Despite the pervasive gossip, the clandestine truth remained concealed behind closed doors, shrouded in secrecy for 18 long years. Mary and Don had done their utmost to shield Steve from the harsh truth, but like all secrets, it eventually unraveled. However, Steve remained unprepared to confront it. On the day preceding his high school graduation, Steve remained blissfully ignorant of his family's hidden turmoil as he spent time with his closest friends, Vance and Alan. Yet, amidst their camaraderie, Vance and Alan sensed the weight of the deception and resolved that the time had come to end the charade. Despite solemn oaths of secrecy imposed by their parents, Vance and Alan believed Steve deserved to learn the painful truth about his father's past transgressions. With careful deliberation, Vance initiated the conversation, recognizing the profound impact his words would have on Steve's perception of reality. As Vance began to unveil the unsettling truth, Steve struggled to comprehend the gravity of the revelation. Despite Alan's initial hesitation, Vance remained resolute, adamant that Steve needed to confront the painful reality shrouding his family's history. Vance's revelation sent shockwaves through Steve's world, shattering the illusion of his familiar reality. As Vance divulged every painful detail, Steve found himself grappling with a profound sense of betrayal and confusion. In the aftermath of Vance's disclosure, Steve struggled to process the truth. His sister, Joni, was actually his biological mother. The implications of this revelation left him reeling, questioning his very identity and the relationships he held dear. Overwhelmed by a whirlwind of emotions, Steve's initial disbelief gave way to a deep-seated anger. The realization that his entire community had been complicit in keeping this truth from him only fueled his sense of betrayal and abandonment. With a heavy heart, Steve harbored the secret for six agonizing weeks before confronting his parents. Despite their outward displays of pride and joy at his graduation, Steve remained acutely aware of the deception that lay beneath the surface. Masking his inner turmoil, he carried on with the charade, participating in graduation festivities while wrestling with the weight of his newfound truth. The inevitable explosion of the truth was just a matter of time. I bottled it up for another six weeks, then I confronted my grandparents, Steve recounted. But as an angry 18-year-old, I stormed off, drove to the nearest town, about 20 miles away, and rented a motel room with my friends. In a moment of reckoning, Joni, the woman Steve had always regarded as his older sister, appeared at his door. She had tracked him down to offer her confession. We acknowledged what had happened. There were apologies exchanged. I mostly remained silent, Steve recalled. With the truth blade bare, Steve wondered why his grandparents and biological mother had kept the secret for so long. It was the early 70s, and in a small, close-knit community like ours, people often chose silence to protect the family's reputation, Steve explained. Joni's pregnancy out of wedlock had prompted their decision to raise Steve as their own. While Steve's story may seem extraordinary, it reflects a growing trend in today's society where more individuals are uncovering their true lineage, often facilitated by home DNA kits. According to Danny Shapiro, host of the podcast, Family Secrets, 
This phenomenon is becoming increasingly prevalent, even described as an epidemic. Yet, the question remains, is it morally justifiable for families to conceal such profound truths about their members' identities? According to Shapiro, while people have a right to know their origins, the timing and manner of revealing such secrets are complex, with the burden falling on the secret keepers to determine when and how to share the truth. Was Steve ready to confront his personal truth after discovering it? Shortly after learning that his sister was actually his biological mother, he enlisted in the Marines. Following his military service, he married and established himself in a successful career as a journalist at NBC News. However, his marriage eventually ended in divorce. In the years that followed, Joni, Don, and Mary Jane avoided discussing Steve's true lineage. It wasn't until 15 years later, in 2013, that Steve decided to confront the past by creating a documentary titled Open Secret. Through this project, he sought to unravel the murky details surrounding his identity, interviewing his grandparents, childhood friends, and siblings. Steve embarked on a journey of self-discovery, grappling with the profound impact of the revelation. Reflecting on the experience in an interview with Kiara Doji, he expressed how the revelation had profoundly changed him. It was never spoken of again after that day, you know, not until 15 years later, he revealed. We just didn't talk about it. And it sounds melodramatic to me, but I changed that day. The revelation of the family secret had strained Steve's relationship with his relatives, leading to a sense of detachment and estrangement. I was a really happy-go-lucky guy in high school, and something kind of shut off in me, and a relationship sort of just became nothing, he confessed. It was just obligatory, and it was that way with the whole family. You know, I have a large family, six sisters, two brothers. I felt like they all were sort of in on it, so I just separated myself. But would the Licktake family find reconciliation? Steve grappled with the unimaginable ordeal his mother, Joni, had endured. She had relinquished her child and then had to bear the burden of a fabricated reality. I was trying to understand what she must have gone through to have had a baby, and then see your own parents take the baby, and then tell you that the story is going to be that you have to tell this baby that you're his sister, not his actual mother, and you have to live that for basically the rest of your life. But did Joni willingly surrender him? She says she did not want to give me up. My parents say that's not true, that she needed the help. I think, as with most things, it falls somewhere in the middle, Steve contemplated. And I do believe that she was told this is the story. If we're going to go down this road, this is the story that we're going to use and you're going to stick to it. And that's when all the family members were told. While Don and Mary Jane, Steve's biological grandparents, seemed eager to address the truth, Joni was reticent to delve into the details. Since then, she has married and started a family of her own. Steve couldn't shake off his disappointment. Joni showed little interest in engaging with his journey of self-discovery or participating in his documentary. She just said to me, she said, I saw your film. I understand why you did it, Steve recalled. I don't want anything more to do with it going forward, so please don't ask me to be involved in it. We've emailed a few times, but we haven't had any conversation in a long while, and it's not the outcome that I had expected. But amidst the disappointment, there is a silver lining. After completing the filming process, Steve experienced a profound sense of relief. I got to have these conversations. The film gave me and then permission to have a conversation that just would not have happened otherwise. So yeah, in the end I can walk away from this and say this did what it was supposed to do. Steve now finds contentment in his marriage and looks forward to starting a family of his own. With newfound peace, he harbored another important question. What role did Joni envision for herself in the lives of his future children, grandmother or aunt? Joni's response was filled with warmth and anticipation. Joni. Just Joni.